Hello everyone and welcome to Encore On Demand. My name is Mr. Luke and today we are going to be learning about one of the three actors tools. Actors have three tools that they use when they are acting on stage. One is the voice, the second is the body, and the third is the imagination. Today we are going to be focusing on number one, the voice. At the end of today's lesson, you will be able to use three different voices that you can use in a lot of different roles. Are you ready? Okay, let's get into it. Before we do anything with the voice, we want to make sure that we warm up our voices so we don't hurt it at all when we're doing fun and silly acting voices. So I like to do a couple things to warm up my voice. First, we're going to do some tongue twisters. So, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Unique New York. Unique New York. Now we're going to say that three times pretty quickly. All right? I'll go first. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. Now you try it. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. Yeah, a little bit tricky. <laughs> okay, let's do that one more time and see if we can get it even better. And unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. A little bit better maybe? <laughs> okay, next we are going to move on to another tongue twister. Now this one is also pretty short. It goes red leather, yellow leather, okay? We're going to do that three times. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. All right, let's do that one more time. We're making sure to really warm up our tongues when we do this. All right. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. All right. <laughs> and now this last one is a little bit longer, but I think that it will do a great job of warming up our lips. We've warmed up our tongue, but now let's get our lips. Make sure that they're ready to do all sorts of voice acting. So this one is called the big black bug. All right. So I will say a phrase and you will repeat it back. And then we are going to uh, come and do the whole thing at the end. So. The big black bug, the big black bug, bit the big black bear, bit the big black bear, and the big black bear, and the big black bear, bled blood. Yuck. Bled blood. Yuck. Okay, now let's make each one of those chunks a little bit longer. So, repeat after me. The big black bug bit the big black bear. The big black bug bit the big black bear. And the big black bear bled blood. Yuck. And the big black bear bled blood. Yuck. Okay, let's try that one more time slowly like we were doing it before. And then we'll speed it up. All right. And the big black bug bit the big black bear and the big black bear bled blood. Yuck. The big black bug bit the big black bear and the big black bear bled blood. Yuck. Okay, now let's do that two more times a little bit faster. All right. The big black bug bit the big black bear and the big black bear bled blood. Yuck. The big black bug bit the big black bear and the big black bear bled blood. Yuck. <laughs> All right. I hope that you enjoyed those three tongue twisters. Now that we've warmed up our mouths, we're also going to warm up our jaws. So what I want you to do right now is I want to put your hand you to put your hands onto either side of your jaw and I want you to massage your jaw and go like this 
Oh. Oh. All right. And once you're done, you can put your hands down, give a little wiggle. And the last thing that we need to do before we do our funny voices for our acting, we are going to warm up a little bit of our head. We warmed up our mouths and our jaw. And now we wanna make sure that our head is fully awake. And this might feel a little bit silly, but it will be great for our voices. So I want you to make your hands a little bit like this, a little bit like claws, but don't dig into your head. So you are going to gently tap your head with your fingers. So on the back of your neck, I want you to tap there with your fingers. And then I want you to move up to the back of the head like this. And then all the way to the top of your head. And then move your way to your forehead. And now we're going to use our hands, the palms of our hands, and we are going to gently pat our chest and go like this. Oh. Awesome. We just warmed up all the parts of our voices and now we are ready to learn our three different actor voices for today. So the first voice that we are going to do is our giant voice. And the giant sounds like this. Fee fi fo fum. It's really down in sort of your chest area. It's gonna sound really deep and really big and scary. So I want you to make your fists and I want you to pretend like you're marching like the giant. Fee fi fo fum. Okay, can you try that? Let's do that together. Fee fi fo fum. Let's do it one more time. Fee fi fo fum. Awesome. So that is our first actor voice, the giant voice. Our second actor voice is the oh, sleepy guy. All right. So how you do this is take a deep yawn. Oh. And you can try covering your mouth a little bit with your hand just to show that you're extra sleepy. And when you're doing this, we are going to say, Oh, I'm so tired. Can you try doing that? Oh, I'm so tired. And one more time, but this time without covering your mouth. Let's just do that. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> that voice is a little bit funny. It makes me laugh. <laughs> and that was our second voice. Our third actor voice is our witch voice. Now, if you've ever seen The Wizard of Oz, she there is a character, the Wicked Witch of the West, and she has a very nasally voice. So can you try plugging your nose for a second? And see how when I plug my nose, it makes me sound really nasally? Without plugging your nose, you can also make that same sound. So just think of all your voice coming through your nose and go like this. You can scrunch your face a little bit. That's okay too. And when you're doing this, you're going to say a line from The Wizard of Oz, and that is, Now I've got you, my pretty! And you're going to uh, do this a little bit, a little bit of scheming with your hands. Now, let's do that all together. I'll do it one more time just to remind you. Now I've got you, my pretty! Can you try that with me? Now I got to my pretty. Okay, awesome. One more time. Now I got to my pretty. Okay, awesome. Now let's review our three voices. So our first voice was the giant voice. 
What did that look like? Fee, fi, fo, fum. Yeah? Do you remember that? Let's just do that one more time for fun. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Awesome. Now let's do our tired voice. <sighs> I'm so tired. Yeah? Let's do that one more time. Oh, I'm so tired. And last but certainly certainly not least, the Wicked Witch of the West voice. Now I get to my pretties. <laughs> awesome. Now let's talk about what we can use those three kinds of voices for. Because you don't have to be a giant to use the giant voice. You don't have to be tired to use the tired person voice. And you don't have to be a witch to use the witch voice. So, what can you use these voices for? Our first voice, the giant voice, can be used when you want to sound a little bit scary or if you want to sound older. So, if I wanted to sound like a big boss man, a person who is in charge of a lot of employees, I would go, All right, now where's the report from this week? Do you see how it has that same sound as a fee fi fo fum Now, where is that report from this week? Do you hear this? how similar it is? So that's an example of what you can use the giant voice for. Someone who sounds maybe a little bit scary, but also in charge. The next voice, the tired voice, can be used for someone who maybe is a little bit shy. So let's say you're playing a very shy character in a play, and you want to sound a little bit scared of taking a test. Oh, I don't know, guys. Uh, I didn't really study for the test. Do you see how that character sounds a little bit distressed and scared to take the test? And that is reflected in the voice, in the very yawn-sounding voice. And lastly, the witch voice that we learned can be used for a number of different sort of uh, scary characters or even nice sounding characters. So, for example, I could use that same nasally sound to voice a cat character. So, for example, if I was a cat talking about how much I loved fish, I could go, Oh my gosh, guys, I really love this fish. Thank you so much for giving it to me. Do you see how that same sort of nasal voice came from the witch voice, but I used it for a cat character? So those are just a couple examples, but I hope that you enjoyed learning about these three different actor voices that you can use for a lot of different characters. I hope that you have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you later.